didn't start out for it to be a trilogy, but here we are. And in my first video, I built my camera boom. And last video, I did a knob to help enhance it and make it a little more useful for me and also teach some things along the way for 3D printing and how to make fits work for you. In my first video, I posed the question whether Adam Savage's version was better than mine. And I copped out and said, I don't really know. So the question has been burning in my mind. So I figured why not try it out for myself, but I'm still gonna do it my own way. I've made some different parts 3D printed as well. And you can see these. I have made some MPT, three quarter MPT fittings. This side has a through hole for a power cable right here and a center hole designed for a quarter 20 thread to go through that could connect to any camera mount. The base is similar to my other uh, 3D printed rig, which uh, mounts right here to the Harbor Freight F style bar clamps that I have. And it also has MPT thread here. So I'm gonna give this a try and use the lock line to connect the two and see how it poses and how well it supports things. And we'll give it an evaluation. So I, I, I really think you could just help me out. Like I like trying different versions and see which one works for me. And so I'll let you check it out and see what you think. One of the main gripes I had about Adam Savage's video is that he connects it with a machine part to the top of the clamp and he bolts it to the top, which is fine. I have no issue with that. I love cold connections. I love mechanical connections, but on the top to create the stem for where the threading goes through on his, he uses resin to cast in there. I don't know about you guys and I might just be my background. I really love cold connections. I love screws. I love rivets. I love welding even works better than that for me. So I, I was thinking about a way to connect those pieces to make it better. And the problem at the top of these lock lines, the problem at the top of these lock lines is that you have this nozzle that connects to the top of this piece here. And you have to somehow make this miraculously turn into a thread or make an adapter for thread. But here's the thing. If you browse, I browse McMaster Carr's website and I found a double female coupler. So you can couple on both ends here. And if you browse a little further, you can find um, uh, an NPT fitting that will fit at the base. So I can effectively put, I can effectively put one of these on the end and couple it to the female fitting, put it there on the female fitting like so. And then I can couple the other end to the blue fitting here and I'll show you. I can couple all those together and I don't have to worry about any resin. I don't have to worry about any glue. I don't have to worry about any like weird connections. I, I don't know why I don't like glue. It's usually messy, it's annoying, and I love clean, cold connections. And I figure why not conquer this difficulty with hardware instead of doing glue in a mess like that. I To each their own. Some people are fine with it. I hate resins, I hate epoxies, I hate all that. I will use them if I have to, but I do not like them. If I can conquer it with a mechanical connection, I will do so. And if they already make hardware to make this work well, then why not just use that? Why do it the hard way? Why not just order the pieces that work for you? Enough of that soapbox, let's get to the model. I was talking a lot about NPT threads, which stands for National Pipe Thread. As the name states, these are typically used for pipe, which contain pressure. This could be water or liquid or even natural gas, like what's supplied to your home. There is a 1.7 degree taper as you go through the thread. This is meant to help seal it so that you can contain the pressure for whatever medium you're transporting. In the case for this project, the MPT threads were designed for the lock line. Lock line is typically used for air or actually coolant in CNC machines. Let's build this thing.
I may become a great fan of this new rig. I like the lock line. It's pretty good. It's really good. I may use mine for suspended shots within the shop, hanging from the rafter over here like I've done before. And so it may be great for that. And this one may be great for on the workbench and the table. I will say the uh, Harbor Freight clamps work pretty well. The only difference between mine and Adam's is the way I did my connections where I put MP2 threads on top and bottom. I also use bar clamps, not the fancy Irwin quick clamp that he uses. I try to make it where you don't have to have a milling machine to do it. You can, all you need is a 3D printer. As of right now, I have about 59 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. And I truly appreciate it. And I love that we're building some momentum and I think this channel maybe could go somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, all the people that have subscribed, thank you very much. And all the people who haven't, I really hope to earn it. I really like how Destin on Smarter Every Day does this. He actually says, I hope to earn your subscription. And that's the way I feel. I hope that I'll earn your subscription by providing interesting videos, interesting solutions, interesting projects. So uh, if you haven't been convinced so far, hopefully I can convince you later. Please, please consider checking out my other videos. I have the 3D printed knob, which I mentioned earlier. I have the camera boom and I have numerous others. And I think they all kind of contribute together. I've done some woodworking as well. So please check out my library, see what you think. I'd love to see if I'm providing a service for people. I really want to see what I can get out there. All right. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you watching and hopefully see you next time.